iPadOS 16 brings users two new features that we've all been clamoring for. And that's official external monitor support and some sort of better solution to multitasking. And so in this video, we're going to go over those two specific new features coming to your iPad. Now, it is important to note that these features are unfortunately available for iPads only with the M1 chip, at least as of right now. And so that would include the latest 2021 iPad Pros, both the 11 and 12.9 inch models, and the new 2022 iPad Air. Stage Manager is a different multitasking option on top of the split and slide overviews that Apple has already offered inside of iPadOS. So with Stage Manager, once it's activated, which can be done via Control Center, uh, you'll see a tiled view of all of your open apps off to the left side with one app sort of taking the center stage. And that's the app that you would interact with and work on. And then whenever you need a new app, you can go over and click on any of the icons on the left side. What's great about Stage Manager on iPadOS is now you can finally resize windows and move them around freely on your iPad. There's still some minor restriction from Apple, but you can drag the bottom corner of a window to resize, and you can even add other apps from the left-hand side to the center to have multiple floating windows at one time. Something that just wasn't possible in previous versions of iPadOS. Where this feature really shines is when you do it in conjunction with an external monitor. In previous versions, external monitor support was possible, but it wasn't great. You couldn't extend your iPad to another monitor, except in really specific situations, but primarily whenever you plugged in your iPad into a monitor, it became a mirrored version of whatever was running on your iPad. It was also never took full advantage of the large display, offering some sort of letterboxing, and it just, it didn't look good and it wasn't great iPadOS 16 makes external monitor support feel like you're running macOS on your iPad, in which you can just throw over a different app to have multiple windows over on your large monitor, and then you can have a completely different app running on your iPad. And then you can also adjust the arrangement of your iPad and larger external display, just like you would in macOS to make it easier to navigate from one screen to the other. Now again, this is all still in beta, and so some of the apps do not play well with the external monitor support and with Stage Manager. But for the most part, things have been running pretty smoothly altogether. I do think this is going to be a huge feature for those who really want to use their iPads as their main computer, and sort of the external monitor and multiple windows kind of floating and being able to be used at one time was sort of holding you back. I think this settles all of that. I mean, for most people who do a lot of office or admin work, you pretty much should have everything you need now. Uh, for me, I'm right there as well, but I'm just kind of holding out for a little bit more pro applications to make its way to the iPad, you know, specifically Final Cut since that's the editor of choice. But having this external monitor support and another multitasking solution for window management has been a great addition so far. But of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. This has been Down With Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.